Hello, my name is Chris Njoku. I want to show us how to use the Excel mobile. If you are a new person to Excel and then you are learning with Microsoft Excel mobile application, you quickly click on the application. This is mine. So you click on it, it opens to your top right. You see the plus sign to your top right. You see the plus sign there. You click on it to open a blank worksheet. And so this is what you should open blank worksheet. So you click on it, it opens. So just to give us a little lecture overview of what is obtainable, a cell workbook is what we're looking at now. More like the book that we have at home, the book we use to write things down. Um, that is just the scenario for a cell. Every book has pages have page one page two page three so what you're seeing here now sheet one means page one so if you want additional page you click on the plus sign that is here to have another sheet i've clicked on it so you can see sheet two if i click on it again it gives you sheet three so that is for the sheet aspect of it so i click on sheet one now sheet one is active as we're talking now because i click on it you can see that it has a different color to others this is the active sheet you can see the color is different from this other one it's white and this other uh, sheet two and sheet three are gray this is just telling you that um sheet one is active now so let's talk about this um excel column and row this is how the system works if you're moving from your left to your right along a line now like i'm drawing now this is the row system like i'm on row three so if you take your hand down this way now this is the column so looking at it now this is column a my red line is on column a and then vertical line this is the vertical line now is on column a and then the horizontal line the one line flat is on row three so this is What I've just done now, this is row one. Hmm? And this is column E. So the cell system in a cell is named using the column and the row. And so the bus that connects the cell, the column to the row is known as a cell. Let me display it now. I've just placed my finger on a particular boss, this boss right now. This is a cell. This is another cell. This is another cell. And so a cell gives them identity in such a way that while you're walking, you can easily know where you are part time. Now, in naming them, a cell picks the column and the row together. This very point now, where the boss is, the very first one on C, is known as cell C1. It's on column C, row one. So it's known as cell C1. This first one 
here now on column E is known as cell E1 because the red line is on column E in the very first row. Now let's look at the other line on column E as well, the other boss. This is on column E, row 6. So this particular boss now is known as cell E6. So that is how SA names the cell system, the column, and then the row. So when we start working, you'll be seeing a lot. We're we'll talking about cell this, cell that, cell this, cell that. Just have this understanding that that is how a cell name their cell system. Same thing is applicable to um, Google Sheet as well, but we'll be talking about Google Sheet subsequently. So, this is the menu kind of for a cell. Mobile, you can see a lot showing here. By the time we move from one stage to another, I'll be showing us everything that we need to know. If we want to type into this now, this is where we type into where you see FS, which is more like a formula bar. If I place my finger there now, you can see my keyboard will just appear because I place my finger there. I place my finger there, you see my keyboard will appear showing that I want to type into it. And so if I start typing, the highlighted cell is where I am typing it to. Let's say I'm typing computer. You can see I place my finger somewhere. The last boss, the last cell I place my finger on is where that particular write up will appear on. That is just how it is. Let me cancel it. Place my finger on another cell. You can see where I place my finger on. If I want to start typing now, that is where it will appear. You can see. I type free class. You see the boss here. Then the formula bar on top is also appearing there. That is why this is more like the formula bar and this is the cell itself. And so when you are done, this is what you click on if you are using a mobile phone. This means you are okay with what you have typed. If you are not okay with it, you click on this. Meaning you are not okay, you want to cancel. This is more like delete. So there is also delete on our keyboard. But these are more like the quickest form of delete. You can see I click on the delete and then it has been deleted. So there are a whole lot I'll be showing us later on that's similar to what we saw in our uh, Microsoft Word. Let me click on this now to show you a lot. This is what I'm clicking on. This drop down. I've clicked on it. You can see a whole lot here. Borders, fill, color. Hmm? You can see major merge and center wrap test test direction says that number format insert and delete format cell size as we go on in the class i'll be teaching us how to use them co to sum sort and filter a whole lot a whole lot i pity those that will say i cannot learn a say i don't have a computer i cannot learn word i don't have a computer they are just cheating themselves there are a whole lot you can learn for you to build confidence before you come face to face with a job in the office or maybe you need to do something related to your work and then when you remember um, our last video on word i showed us this as well the home tab where you see a whole lot let me click on it you can see the insert the draw the formula the review the view are there similar to what we saw on our microsoft word um, mobile application a whole lot of a cell mobile application that you are going to be coming across have these features in different formats they have it in different formats so if you download yours if it's different from my own you will see c insert draw formula data and a whole lot in that as well so this video is just to give us a general overview 
of what we'll eventually be working with as we move forward so sit tight we're going to spend four weeks doing essay you have a lot to learn you have a lot to learn my own challenge with um so many students that have come my way is that they have this lukewarm attitude towards knowledge they don't practice but if you will be practicing everything that i am going to be showing you in this journey you will have a lot to gain so thank you very much for going through this more videos ensure you subscribe to this youtube channel a whole lot of videos on how to use excel to do a cell mobile application to do a lot will be dropping on this your teenagers can use this a whole lot of your teenagers are using mobile phones at 13 years 14 years and then they know next to nothing apart from chatting and facebooking you can compel your child to be part of this program and learn excel give them work assignment that they can deliver using their smartphones by so doing you as a parent you are being smart you are pushing your child towards being techie you are also pushing your child towards acquiring skills with the smartphone not to use it to be secretly chatting with friends in school so thank you very much and then look forward to more videos after this